What's up gamers? This is NGG here with another reaction video. This is to the Monster Hunter Rise digital event March 2022. What's today? Today is the 15th. So March 15th, 2022. Um, I'm hoping they open a completely new world because we've been stuck in this one village for a while and I feel like I remember the other games at least Generations, which is the other one I played, have more than one village. And I'm hoping it's a completely different storyline. Um, I think I got spoiled a long time ago with um, Amiibos that may be coming out. I'm not sure. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to the event. I have not been spoiled at all with the event. I put it on my phone and I was like, alright, when well, I get home, I will start it. And I'll record it for you guys. So hopefully we'll hear something good. Yay. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I think we're on a new land. Are those new monsters? They look new. Well, a couple of them look new, not all of them. Oof. That one looks scary looking. Definitely looks scarier than Magna Malo. <laughs> Even though Magna Malo was a pain in the butt. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> I'm Ryozo Tsujimoto producer on the Monster Hunter series. Today, we will be bringing you the latest information on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, the massive expansion to Monster Hunter Rise, which is scheduled to be released in summer 2020. We summer. We have plenty of new updates to share with you, so make sure you keep watching until the end. Okay. With that, let's kick things off with a look at a new trailer for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Enjoy. Yay, let's go. They thought. Ew. What is that thing? <coughs> Oof. Who with belly flops? I'm not gonna enjoy that. Especially since I'm an up close fighter. Oh no. Yeah, I think we're in a new world. New gathering hub. Wait, why are we running up the things? Feel like they were flying on brooms or some stuff. Ugh, another version of that. No, thank you. What are these weapons that they're using? Oof. 
Looks good. Looks good. Let's see. June. Yay! The end of June. <clears throat> As you could see at the end of the trailer, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is scheduled for a global release on June 30, 2022. Yeah. Today, we'll tell you more about game info and pre-order details. Yeah, I wonder if you have to be finished with the first story before going into the next now, one. Let's look at what this game has to offer, including <clears throat> what you saw in the trailer just now. Even though I think I'm pretty much done. I think I'm level 82. <clears throat> Let's see. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is the massive expansion to Monster Hunter Rise. It's filled with new content that builds on the base game, such as a new story starting at a new base, new locales, monsters, gameplay Good. mechanics, and a new hunter rank called the Master Rank. Uh-oh. Right. Now let's take a look at some of the new elements of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, starting with an all-new locale. I saw that. The so ruins. features various environments ranging from lush forests to icy mountains, each teeming with never-before-seen endemic life. At the center lies an old fortress, long abandoned to nature. The remnants of a once prosperous civilization now serve as a bastion for dangerous monsters. Oof. In the surrounding woodland area resides. I like how they didn't even say the name. Garagom. There you go. Garagom. This behemoth may seem docile at first. But it won't hesitate to attack with its huge body. Once enraged, its left arm is covered in moss, and its right arm in magma, allowing it to attack with both fire and water elements to make it nearly unstoppable. Oof. Next up, we have the Fanged Wyvern Lunagarin. This monster can cover its body in ice to act as body armor. When enraged, Lunagarin reveals its true form, standing on hind legs and thrashing its claws with deadly precision. It's rumored that there's nothing that its claws cannot shred to pieces. Oof. What's I'm sorry, I'm not talking as much. I'm so excited about what I'm seeing. Has been discovered. Careful though, instead of throwing persimmons, this Bishatan throws exploding pine cones. I see. And last but not least, the powerhouse Astalos makes a return appearance. I don't think I've ever seen this one. I don't this know if he was in generations. Generate electricity, which it stores in its horn, wings, and tail. When all parts are fully charged, the power of its attacks becomes truly devastating. The world of Monster Hunter Rise. Following the Sunday. events of the rampage at Kimura, which saw our hunter and companions successfully defend the village against the imminent onslaught of monster hordes, peace had finally been restored. Some devastating casualties. <laughs> or so we thought. Our hunter is about to face the biggest! The Sunbreak arc begins with the sudden appearance of the ferocious Lunagarin at the Shrine Ruins. There we are confronted uh -oh. by Dame Fearain, a knight from a distant kingdom. She seeks aid in the investigation of a terrible threat that faces her homeland. Thus, our hunter sets out for the Elgato outpost. Having saved Kimura Village from the Calamity, the hunter is tasked by their friends to set out to Elgato, a research outpost in a distant country. Mm. Elgato is both a bustling port town with lots of trade, as well as a research facility to investigate monsters. So it's got all the conveniences a hunter requires. 
Okay. You'll even find a familiar tea shop, popular as ever. The command post located in town serves as the base of operations. Okay. Progress is made every day to solve the mystery of the anomaly plaguing the monsters in the kingdom. This research is headed by Admiral Gallius. Ah, Hunter. Leader of Fiorain and the other royal knights. This is Bahari, the quirky scientist. Counting on you to come through. He's known to be a genius researcher, but he's also kind of oblivious to the world around him. There is also Chiche, Elgato's quest damsel. You'll be getting your quest from her. Okay. Why, hello. Who's the other one? Don't let appearances fool At the you. hub. There's more to Chiche than meets the eye. You'll also meet other characters, like Minail, the blacksmith. Alright, let's make it happen. Oboro, the merchant. Here's what I have to offer. And a full cast of interesting individuals who will aid you in your hunt. So far, the investigation. I like that's a whole new town. Garangol, Lunagarin, and the Elder Dragon Malzino. As the three biggest threats to the kingdom. These priority targets are referred to as the Three Lords. Oof. Team up with the Knights of the Royal Order to save the kingdom from Malzino and the impending calamity. Hone your agility with new wirebug actions. Explore new locales. I thought I saw him climbing the damn wall. Master rank quests. It's a new adventure in an unknown world for your hunter. Okay. Product info. Are we going to be announcing Amiibos? Let's go over some product information for the release of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak on June 30th, 2022. Those who already own either the physical or digital versions of Monster Hunter Rise and only want to purchase the expansion can pick up the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak as downloadable content. Okay. It sounds like it's gonna be a physical. No. Also available for purchase is the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak Deluxe Edition, which features the Sunbreak expansion as well as additional bonus contents such as layered armor sets, gestures, and hairstyles. Hmm. I hate that they charge you ten dollars more for that crap. Those who would like to start playing from the beginning of the base game. Can pick up the Monster Hunter Rise plus Sunbreak set to experience the full package. This contains the main game of Monster Hunter Rise plus the expansion Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak Oof. in one convenient set. This is a great option if you want to start with Monster Hunter Rise, complete it, and then move seamlessly into the Sunbreak expansion. Okay. We've got some purchase bonuses as well, which include layered armor for both your Palico and Aww, your Palico. look at how cute the doggo is. I actually the used the pre-order bonus more than I did the stuff. We will also be releasing three new there you go. Hunter I need to be able to pre-order them. Amiibo to unlock special layered armor in the game. Oh, look at the cat! A variety of useful items. I like the cat. The cat looks awesome. Pre orders for the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will start according to the following schedule. That's today. So, mark your calendars. For more details on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, be sure to check out the official... But are they going to have a physical of both? They didn't show, like, a physical release of both. Moving along, mm. I'd like to share some news about the Monster Hunter Rise base game. Oh, that's my problem. 
This is my bub. As previously announced, players will be able to access Sunbreak's new content after completing the seven star hunt. Yeah, they have to finish. Okay, so I did that already. To help players meet this requirement, we are currently distributing powerful support items. <gasps> All items will be provided free of charge to aid players who are new to the game. These items include the Defender series for all 14 weapon types, the Black Belt Ooh. Hunter armor, and the Veteran's Talisman. Defender weapons have high attack power, which can be very helpful in early quests. I might want that anyway. The Black Belt Hunter armor boasts high defense and can activate useful skills, such as increased attack power or recovery. You'll also be able to claim layered armor sets from your old pal Senri the Mailman. Okay. There's also the Guild Cross set, which is useful if you want to gather harvesting items and reach high rank quests more quickly. I do. We kind of want to finish my high rank quests. On top of this, you can look forward to new event quests and various contents, which will continue to be released until March 25th. Okay. Use these beginner friendly weapons and armor to prepare yourself for Sunbreak or for trying out any of the event quests and collab quests you haven't played yet. Yes. I finished that one. We have some news about a patch for Monster Hunter Rise as well. On the release of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, Monster Hunter Rise will receive a title update. This allows players to access certain content from Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Okay. If you haven't purchased the expansion, this update will adjust weapon balance, as well as okay. item packs and character edit vouchers from the day Sunbreak is released. This update is also required for online play. We anticipate that this update will need about 13 gigabytes of storage. Dang. Please plan accordingly. <laughs> I'm gonna have to empty out some space. Next up, a reminder for players in Europe, North America, and Australia that a free trial of Monster Hunter Rise for the Nintendo Yeah, it's currently Switch going right now. Exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. Then I've been, you know, I've, uh, I, I streamed it. You continue your save data after purchasing the full game. If you haven't already bought Monster Hunter Rise, please check the game trial out while it's still available. More details are available. On I didn't like that it tried to auto download on my system, though. I'm like, I already own the game. If you're interested in trying out Monster Hunter Rise, I strongly encourage you to take part in the game trial and experience the game for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't like the trial they had before that. The digital version of Monster Hunter Rise will also be on sale for a limited time. So now's your chance to pick it up. Unless you want to wait to the two pack. But they didn't really say that that two pack was going to get a physical. That wraps it up for today's announcements. They said you could buy them together, but they didn't say it was going to be physical. But they didn't say it was going to be digital. I don't know. Usually they would show a physical. The hunt continues. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will release worldwide on June 30, 2022. Okay. I'm excited. Plan on releasing several free title updates after its initial release. Good. We'll keep you updated on this in future announcements. Thank you for tuning in to today's special Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak Digital Event. Yep, I had fun. I'm looking forward to those amiibo. And the new uh, weapons. That way I could try some of the weapons out. Um, different weapons. Because I stay with the, the charge blade for the most part. But I know I need a far away weapon too. But I'm broke. I'm broke AF. I'm excited. I'm excited. They didn't say how much it was going to be though, right? I don't think they did. I wonder how much it's going to be. 
I'm hoping not more than 20, but it's Capcom, so I'm expecting it to be like 30. <laughs> or 40. I'm hoping not. I think 20 is a good range for a, a expansion pass. Yep, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this with me. I hope you guys are having fun. I hope you guys are still hunting. I have to go back to hunting. There are some DLC monsters that I haven't done yet that I was trying to do, and I suck so bad. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Happy gaming, guys. Bye.